This video is dedicated to the memory of those Minnesota Twin players and managers we lost between 2010 and 2019. Minnesota has twins, and the whole state is celebrating. The twins, in this case, is their first Major League Baseball team. And 25,000 are on hand for the opener. By the way, neither Minneapolis nor St. Paul, ancient rivals, is home port. They play in Bloomington, seven miles from either city. But feuds are forgotten as the fans turn out for opening ceremonies. With baseball czar Ford Frick on hand to make it official. Along with Joe Cronin, American League president. Of course, Governor Elmer Anderson is here to welcome the former Washington Senators who have the prettiest mascots. The expansion of the American League makes the new team possible, and they have been replaced in Washington by another Senators night. They start their homestand leading the league, but they're destined to lose their opener today to the new Washington Senators after Governor Anderson throws out the first ball. But win or lose, who cares? They're in the big league now, in Minnesota. The infield was a big focal point during batting practice. Uh, Maury Wells of the Dodgers says it's the best infield he's played on. It's so nice and soft. The Twins infielder said it's the hardest it's been all year. And the reason for the discrepancy is that the Dodgers infield in Los Angeles really tailored to this ball club, the Dodgers, who... Two big hops in the infield, it's a base hit, a stolen base, and they've got a man on third with a wild pitch who'll score the run. The Twins have a little bit more power than the Dodgers, but of course, Maury Wills will be the man that the Twins, along with the many fans here at Metropolitan Stadium, will be watching. Here's the way they'll line up today. For the Los Angeles Dodgers, it'll be Maury Wills leading off at shortstop. Wills, shortstop. Batting second, it'll be the third baseman, Jim Gilliam. Gilliam will be at third base. Batting third, it will be the center fielder, Willie Davis. Willie Davis in center field. Batting fourth, the right fielder, Ron Fairley. Fairley is in right field. Batting fifth, the left fielder, Lou Johnson. Johnson in left field. Batting sixth, it's Jim Lefevre, the second baseman. Lefevre. Lefevre, a big surprise on his ball club, spells his name L E. F-E-B-V-R-E, Lefevre. Batting seventh, it'll be the first baseman, Parker, Wes Parker. Batting eighth, it's the catcher, John Roseboro. Roseboro, the catcher, and the pitcher is Don Drysdale. Drysdale, the pitcher, he won 23 and lost 12 on the regular season. For the Minnesota Twins, leading off, it'll be Zolio Versailles at shortstop. Versailles. Batting second, a left-handed hitting outfielder playing left field, Sandy Valdespino, V-A-L-D-E-S-P-I-N-O, Valdespino in left field. Batting third, it will be the right fielder, the American League's leading hitter, Tony Oliva, Oliva in right field. Batting fourth, it will be Harmon Killebrew, Killebrew will be at third base. Batting fifth, the center fielder, Jimmy Hall, Hall in center field. Batting sixth, the big first baseman, Don Mincher, Mincher at first base. Batting seventh, it will be the catcher, Earl Batty. Batty behind the plate, and batting eighth, it will be Quillacy. Frank Quillacy, the rookie infielder, he'll be playing second base. Quillacy spells his name Q-U-I-L-I-C-I. And batting ninth, it will be Jim Mudcat Grant. Grant will be the pitcher for the Minnesota Twins on the regular season. He won 21, and he lost seven. Mm -hmm.